We've gone through the changes for Apple Notes and Apple Reminders in iPadOS 16. If you've not seen those videos, we'll have a link to them in the description down below. In today's video, we'll be going through the changes for messages in iPadOS 16. Unlike iOS 16, iPadOS 16 got no lock screen updates, which makes the messages updates one of the biggest on the iPad. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. We can now edit messages we have sent. The messages remain editable for up to 15 minutes. That's plenty of time to decide whether or not to edit a message. The app displays the final edited message. However, by simply tapping edited, the recipient can see all the edits you made. That defeats the purpose of editing the message in the first place. We normally advocate for options, but seeing all our edits is not an option we would like our recipients to have. Let's hope in the future, we will only see the final edited version of our messages, like with Telegram. It's worse for devices that are not running iPadOS 16, iOS 16, or macOS Ventura. My MacBook Pro is not supported for macOS Ventura, so I can see all the edits as they come in. This is a serious problem because you can't know if everyone in your contacts is running the latest operating system. Editing messages is risky. You are limited to five edits per message, after which the option to edit simply disappears. What are the chances you edit one message five times? At this point, it makes more sense to unsend a message, then type a new one. However, you only have three minutes to decide whether or not you want to unsend a message. We love the animation for when you unsend a message. I'll probably be unsending most of my messages just for the fun of it. We never understood the mark as unread with emails, but it must be very popular for Apple to add it to messages. Let us know how you use this feature, if it's something you use often. Perhaps we're missing something. Sending collaboration invitations to everyone in your group chat simplifies life. Exactly what a digital workflow should do. It saves a lot of time, especially for big teams. As your team works on the document, you get notifications in messages each time someone makes changes to it. We love that it is easier to invite everyone in a group to collaborate on any document. But after that, collaboration updates and their notifications should all remain in the app and on the document you're collaborating on. Too much goes on in a group chat already that has nothing to do with your shared documents. So notifications for every tiny change can become overwhelming. We can now share synchronized activities with friends in messages. It works with movies, music, workouts. So far, SharePlay only worked once when we first tried it out in Apple Music. Since then, We've received a lot of different errors in different apps. Unable to share play, this media is unavailable while using share play in the music app. This content isn't available to share play. Once we got one saying share play only worked on devices in the same country. So far, share play has been the worst feature we've tried in iPadOS 16. Let us know if you've had better luck. 
The last update we get in iPadOS 16 for messages is the ability to fast forward and rewind audio messages. It's surprising we didn't have this all along. What do you think about these features in iPadOS 16? What feature do you like most? Do tell. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.